Hello and welcome to this tutorial video where I show you how to return items on Sheen. So log into your Sheen account, open the app up, and what you want to do is go to your orders. So tap on the icon there that says me or your account there at the bottom with your little profile image. And then you're going to see a bunch of options here, a whole bunch of text. Right there in the middle, you'll see something that says my orders. Go ahead and tap the view all option. It's right there across from my orders. And this will show you a list of all of your orders, shipped, unpaid, processing, all of those things. And you need to find the order, go to all orders, find the order. So here's the order here. And you want to tap into that order. And then you can repurchase and do a bunch of things. But what you want to do there at the very bottom, there's an option that says return item. You want to tap on return item, and that's going to bring up the return application button here. A couple of things. If you're returning multiple items from one order, do it all at once so you can avoid additional fees by returning them separately. But so you, what you want to do is tap on the select all button at the bottom. You'll see a select all button by just tapping that item. It'll tell you the price. You do have to tap the drop down menu here that says reason for return. Go ahead and tap the reason as to why you're returning it. And then also it requires you to upload photos of the product itself. So you tap on the photos option and you can either choose from photos you've already taken, take a photo right now or choose from your files. I'm going to choose the take photo option by just tapping that there and I can take a picture of an item. Let's say this is the item here. I can take a picture and then I can go to use photo. It'll upload that photo as you see there and then you'll have an option there where you can comment as to more details as to what's wrong or why you're returning the item and then you'll see it says if our inspection finds that the returned item has been used or damaged and if you're trying to get a freebie out of this or you're trying to use something then send it back they will not issue you a refund or a credit go ahead and tap OK once you've done that it'll take you to the next phase it says refund method original payment account so basically for you whatever that payment method was that's where it will be refunded to if it's approved and then when you're ready to go you see the amount that you want it's the correct order you'll tap on submit the black button that says submit there it'll submit that there it'll say success and then you tap on OK and then it'll let you know it's processing the return if it's in process you can go here and always on the order page see what the progress is of the return and if you want to cancel it and you're like oh I like the item that's fine you can go to this application on the return processing page and go to cancel this application and then it says do you want to confirm or do you want to keep the return I'm going to confirm to cancel and it says return canceled successfully so you just wait for it you see if it's approved and from what I found 90% of the time it will be approved if the item is faulty or the wrong item, uh, they really don't give you much of a hassle. So go through the returns here and you should be good to go. Have any questions, put them down below in the comments. If this helped you out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you.